Hello, my name is Andrei. Welcome back. I'll explain how to execute partial GET request uh, from HTML tag using HTMX. Sample application is running uh, on top of uh, Django. HTML is generated uh, or rendered as uh, Django HTML template, but it doesn't matter because the same uh, approach with HTMX uh, can be applied to any technology any framework, uh, whatever we have HTML, and you can execute those partial requests uh, either get or post uh, from many from multiple HTML tags. Uh, in this video, I'll explain get, and uh, in the future videos, I'll explain uh, post, and I'll show how you could submit uh, modified data to the backend to be saved in database. But today, if you look into the get request, so let's uh, jump to my screen. And let's see the sample application first. So, okay, let's, uh, yeah, what, what we'll be talking today about get. So the sample application uh, comes with a table of data and for each record, there's an edit button. So let's say that I can click on edit button and uh, below the table, then uh, form is rendered with um, data that uh, is related to the uh, table row where edit button was pressed, right? And uh, if we look into the request uh, headers, we'll see that uh, request edit employee was uh, executed with key one, and as response, uh, we got a form. Um, yeah, and there was no full reload of the page, uh, it's just a partial request. This means the page uh, stays without the reload, and this uh, is good for the user experience. And yeah, we can press uh, close, for example, click uh, edit, then we see that the different uh, partial request is executed with uh, ID 2 and uh, data that is uh, related to the record where we press the edit button is displayed in the form. Okay, so this is how it works. And now if we switch to the my development environment, uh, let, let's quickly see how it's implemented in code. Sample application code is posted on the GitHub and URL is below the video. So you can go there, uh, clone the repo and uh, copy the code to your application and so on. So the main file is view table HTMX. This is where edit button is implemented. Uh, this is the button, right? And <clears throat> we have three properties related to HTMX, uh, get, target and swap. So <clears throat> the first one, get, uh, hx uh, get property, uh, what it does, it points to the uh, Django expression in this case, uh, and uh, it constructs a relative URL for edit employee endpoint uh, in the backend. And uh, as an argument, we are passing uh, current employee ID from the current record, because we are in a table and uh, we render uh, separate buttons for each row, this means uh, every button will get uh, correct ID. If you're not using Django, that uh, doesn't matter, it's fine. You just uh, need to make sure that you uh, provide correct uh, URL to this uh, get property. And you see, we don't need to define any listeners, uh, any events uh, for this button in JavaScript. Uh, the main advantage of HTMX is that you can uh, in a very simple way, like that, you defy, define um, a property for the HTML tag, like a button, and uh, yeah, you can execute uh, partial request directly from 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 the button without writing any uh, event or listener logic in JavaScript. So another important property is the target, uh, and here we point to the HTML component with ID edit form. This means when uh, get will be executed and we'll get back the response. We'll <coughs> push the response to uh, replace uh, HTML component with uh, ID equal to edit form. And uh, another parameter swap, outer HTML, this means <coughs> you would, we would replace uh, uh, com HTML component with ID edit form completely with the response that will come from this uh, get operation. Okay, so if you look into, into the edit form HTMX, we'll find an um, entire form block over here with ID assigned edit form. So this ID is matching uh, our target ID from, from where we execute get. 
and then uh, if you're implementing Django, then we can double check that edit, edit employee URL is defined over here and uh, the endpoint is set to be uh, to accept primary key like like this over here and this endpoint it executes uh, uh, django class view employee edit view which is defined in views over here and uh, because we're executing get so we overwrite uh, get method and this is the place where we get primary key information that was sent uh, as URL parameter uh, with htmx get and then we construct the response we uh, look look up for the employee with uh, the idea that we uh, we, we pass by uh, pass through and we are constructing the form over here and then we are returning this form in the context uh, over here and another thing is that we return template name that um, uh, Basically, HTMX uh, uh, response would uh, return back and uh, based on the target and uh, uh, another parameter which was called uh, swap, it will replace uh, the uh, component with ID added form with a new HTML structure. So this new HTML structure will come from the template name and uh, uh, as a template name we're using added form HTMX. So and this is the template name. So basically what it means, we're returning exactly the same uh, form as, what, as it was originally included uh, into uh, HTML structure. It will be re-rendered. And the idea is that uh, because it will be re-rendered at this time, it will have different data since in the context we are passing different form and uh, new data will be displayed in the same form. Right, and the advantage is that uh, we execute partial request and uh, there's no need to reload the whole the whole page. We just return uh, not the whole page, but we return the fragment only. Okay, and to summarize, uh, so what we have, uh, what we got, we, we got um, a simple HTML, HTML button with um, HTMX properties for get, um, target, and swap. And then when we execute uh, this partial request uh, from the button button using HTMX, the main advantage we get here is that we don't need to uh, worry about JavaScript. We execute uh, partial request directly from the button. Then on the Django side or on the backend side, we get the primary key, we fetch uh, correct uh, uh, record, we put it into the context and return it back with the template name. And uh, the template name is exactly the same that was used originally to display uh, this fragment and uh, it will be re-rendered uh, thanks to HTMX library. And uh, since Django returns uh, new data in the context, this new data, data will be displayed uh, in HTML structure and user will see new data. So this is how it works, uh, quite simple and uh, very elegant with uh, HTMX. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.